In this video I'm going to be looking at how you can use the formula for the volume of a prism. This formula in your GCSE exams is currently given to you at the start of your exam and you get a little diagram like this showing a three dimensional shape and you are told that the volume will be equal to the cross sectional area multiplied by the length. I'm just going to work through several examples just to show you how to apply this and give you some tips each time and um, hopefully by the end of the video you will see how to apply this to all sorts of prisms. So here's our first question, let's suppose we're asked to work out the volume of this shape. The volume is going to be equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the length. Now the cross-sectional area is normally presented as the front of the prism um, and in this case will we'll be represented by this, this triangle. Really a cross-sectional area is the shape that you get when you sort of slice this shape all the way through. So if you imagine that this prism was made up of many 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 slices of triangles like this. You can imagine it's made of cheese or something and you're pushing those together, pushing those cheese slices together to make this prism. Every, every tight slice of cheese would be the same size and have the same area and that is the cross-sectional area, the, the shape that you get when you cut this into slices. So let's have a look at how we work out the volume of this. We need to do the cross-sectional area multiplied by the length. The cross-sectional area in this case is a triangle so I'm just going to draw that out here and work out its area. Remember the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height so that is 6 times 6 36 and then half it 18 centimeters squared and then the formula says we have to take that area and multiply it by the length. The length of a prism is how far, how sort of deep it is, how far back into the page normally it's going. If, it, if it's drawn in this sort of perspective, how far back into the page it's going. And in this case that's 8 centimetres. So the volume is going to be the cross-sectional area multiplied by the length. And 18 times 8 is 144 centimetres cubed. Remember, volume is given in cubic units. So I was working in centimetres, so I used centimetres cubed. On this next example, you can see we have a trapezium as the sort of cross section of our prism. And so we are going to need to use, I'll just write up, that's the formula in shortened length um, of the one that you're given. So cross-sectional area multiplied by length, that's what we're going to do. But we are going to need to work out the area first. Now the area of this cross-sectional shape you're going to need to use another formula which is half A plus B H. If you're not sure about that, how to use this one, um, there is a video on it on our channel. And A and B represent the parallel sides, in this case that one there and that one there. How long is that one there? Well, sometimes they present the lengths of this cross-sectional area in different places on the diagram just so that they can fit it in or so it looks neat and actually it's the same as this length here 10 meters so 10 meters there 15 meters here so I'm going to do a half of now 10 plus 15 is 25 and then I've got to times that by the height the distance between the two parallel sides which is 7 and this gives me half of 25 is 12.5 times 7 and 12.5 times 7 is 87.5 
And remember at that point, because we worked out the area, your units are centimetres squared. Now we're going to go ahead and work out the volume by doing that area multiplied by the length. Remember the length is how far back into the page your prism goes. It's 4 in this case. And we get 350. I've just realised I made a mistake with my units here, didn't I? I caught myself out. I was trying to show you that you need to pay attention to the units. These are in metres, so this is 350 metres cubed, but these should also be metres squared. OK, third one. This is a type of prism. It's a cylinder, and the cross-section of a cylinder is a circle. So, in this case, and cylinders are quite often drawn this way up, um, it's that circle there. If you were to sort of lie on its side, yeah, that's got to be the world's worst drawing of a cylinder, um, it would be this area here. Okay, so some people might find it a bit nicer to redraw it in a more familiar format. And all we're going to do is, again, the area of the cross-section multiplied by the length. The area of the cross-section is the area of this circle, and that's pi r squared. Remember that the radius of a circle is half its diameter. So we were given the diameter all the way across the circle was 8, so the radius is going to be 4. And if you type that onto your calculator, you'll get an area of 50.27 centimetres squared. I've rounded that, but I'm not going to round the number as it appears on my calculator. I'm going to leave that on there. Now how do I work out the volume? I use this number, but I use the exact version from my calculator. And I need to multiply it by the length, which is 10 in this case. When it was stood up, you might better describe that as a height. But now that I've drawn it lying on its side, you can see that it's the same as before. It's the length, 10. And the answer on my calculator now is 502.65 to two decimal places. And that's in centimetres cubed.